All right, guys, holy brutal palooza. We have to get down through here. Ooh. Down this hill, ooh, luckily us. There's actually a rut here you get your legs on. So there's one part, and then your feet here. Get our butt down on that. Ooh, all right. How deep is it here though? Because it looks gonna be deceiving on this river. All right. Slowly, slowly. All right, we're in. It's looking pretty good too. Huh. Decent. Decent guys, decent, that's for sure. Yeah, perfect. This gives us a chance to kind of walk out here a little bit. I haven't been in this spot a long time now. So it'll be kind of interesting to see how it plays out and how the fish have moved around. Here to see how structures changed. Uh, yeah, different factors on this river can really change a lot so really quickly. Whoa. Like my casting skills. What the heck was that all about? Alright, so the head camera hopefully catch one fish so if I got one fish with the head camera and I feel accomplished to the point where I can see what it looked like on video Ooh, there's a bug right there lands in the water nice big one right there Wow so that was a big bug look just like a mayfly I don't know maybe blue wing olive Ooh, what's that fish I don't think so I think I need a silver this water just seems like silver territory right now. Seems beautiful out here though. Nevertheless, I will say that. It is pretty beautiful out here at this moment. Alright. Yeah, the water's temperature is uh, downstream from here, not far. It's a balmy 43, so but it doesn't mean that there isn't a snow melt going on here causing some sort of possible friction for the, the fish or, you know, the deferation of temperatures going up or down could cause the bite to instantaneously shut off around here. So it's just really upon sneaking up in there as much as you can, which is hard to do sometimes. Pulling that spinner through, trying a different color, any fall spells. I'll try a silver. Maybe gold isn't just the deal right now. I figured it would be because it's, you know, a tiny slight tint. But there's also, you know, sunny a little bit and it's extremely clear. Well, it's hard to explain. I mean, look at it right in front of me here. You'll see it's pretty clear. You can see all the way to the bottom. And some of these deeper spots, it does get a little tinted. Oh, fish on, boys and girls, fish on. All right, check that out. We got ourselves a brown trout. Woohoo, we got a fish. All right, we'll get him to the net. We got him to the net, we did. Hot our dog. Here we go, boys and girls. All right. Got ourselves a brown trout, guys and girls. Got one single hook, came off nice and easy. There you go. Hopefully I can get it on. Picture, check him out, dudes. All right, look at that guy. Woo Back in the water he goes. All right, that was fun. All right. Go figure it out, paid off. So maybe we'll walk up here a little farther now. All right. A little gold spinner. They seem to dig that thing so far. Huh, interesting. All right. Like I say, today's camera. Day is just basically testing out the head camera and see if this is gonna work out. Oh, fish on! I sure hope it does. I think I got a brook trout right now. Wow, is that a brookie? Is that a brown trout? That looks like a brook trout, dudes. Nice one, too. 
All right. All right, guys, we're gonna get over here quick to a more of a safer location to get this guy off quick. We have a tree here. We're gonna use it as a rod holder. Camera turned on. We hope to, guys, here you go. Second fish of the day and first brook trout of the year. Got this guy on the single hook, gold spinner. And there you go, guys. Look at that brook trout, ain't it beautiful? That is fantastic brook trout. All right, I hope I got that on the camera. I hope the camera works up there. We'll find out after a bit. There he goes, whoa. Hey, dude, you just took like a face plant into the mud. There you go. All right, that worked out super uber duper fantastic. All right, just so you guys know, there's a, just a number three spinner blade. That's a, I think that's a quarter ounce lure body, number four Matsu hook with a number two ring. I have these in my store. Come buy the parts and you can make your own. There's no better satisfaction than making your own spinners, coming out here and using them and catching fish. All right, my first brook trout of the year. And that wasn't a bad one either, so I'm happy. My little brookie. I don't know I'm here, so. Look at that dude right in front of you. Oh, he just like right there. That was funny as heck. Here's my stick of the day. There we go. Stick of the day. Wonderful. So last year, the way I got permission to use this spot and park and all this other fun stuff here, I was way downstream in a zone where you're not getting any phone signal. And the farmer up here, he uh, his truck broke down. He was stuck there. He couldn't get in touch with anybody in his family to come get him. So he basically kind of stranded. He was like, you know, that was probably three miles downstream, but they own a lot of this land in here apparently. And uh, I gave him a ride to his house. He told me after that, he goes, well, you see down there in the corner of my property, you can park down there anytime you want. He says, there's nice trout in that spot. He says, you have my permission. I've been coming here on and off ever since because, you know, permission's hard to come by. So yeah, these little dudes, they're kind of hanging out over here. It looks like, oh, I got another one. Oh, I think I got this guy on this time. Well, I actually caught one and he actually stayed on the hook. Check that out, dude. That is like the, there's my PB brookie of the year of the teeny tiny. All right, dude, come here, come here. I'll get you off quick. You'll be back in there again. All right, guys. Hey, like that single gold. You weren't biting on anything else. All right, guys, check it out. Look at the size, ooh, this guy got a bite. Look at that, man, he's got a big bite in his tail like something tried to eat him. Holy Toledo, that wasn't long ago. Well, I'm gonna get him back in the creek. He doesn't look like he's doing so hot with that. There you go, dude, sorry to hear that you're, you're on the menu. Wow, that's not good. All right, dude, have a good day. Oh, there he goes, here he goes, there he goes. Whoa, look at the size of that trout. Oh, he just got eight. No, he's, he's over there swimming, he's fine. Yeah, I don't know, it's a tough life being a trout. You know, there's always something waiting to eat you. Oh, I think I got one. All right, I got me brown trout right now, right here. Whoa. Hey, I almost lost them at the same time. But I got them in my hand. Hold on, dude, he'll be free in 10 seconds. All right, this might be the biggest one of the day. Look at the size of this guy, all right, woo hoo. Oh, -hoo. come here, dude, I'll get you free right now. There we go. One more profile of that dude, even though he's a little dirty right now, but hey, we got him. All right, there you go, dude, see you later. Phew, that was a long walk for that one guy, I tell you. <sighs> All right, there we go. That'd probably be my last fish of the day, the way things are going. Uh oh, what just happened here? Uh-oh, something's gone wrong with my fishing reel. Uh-oh, that's not good. Something's not right. Uh-oh. You have to come home and fix this thing. Uh-oh, that's not good. I think we got another handle at the house. All right, we just like, I don't know, maybe it's time to leave. Check it out, the old reel 
and the old Fluger finally broke. Good thing I got a brand new reel at the, to handle at the house. So this guy here, at this point, we gotta try to reel him back in and uh, head back to the truck because this is the end of our day. So hey, what do you think? I don't know, that spot was kind of, it would have been great if I had my fly rod and I was good at it. And I would have probably caught a whole bunch of fish more than I did, but you know, I caught a few little ones here and there and you know, caught a couple brook trout, which is kind of like the first brook trout of the year so far. I had to drive a long ways out, but I needed to scout some spots because I'm just sick of these tired of these little streams around my house. There's just like people everywhere. I mean, everywhere you go, there's, oh, there's somebody there. Hey, there's somebody over there. Hey, there's Bob over there. Hey, there's, there's like, I don't know who the heck that guy is over there. He's just somebody. Anyways, it's just gotten that tricky around here that the spots that are open around my area are just getting overflowed with people. So you gotta kinda take a little trip out a little ways. Boy, oh boy, that was, stream was beautiful. I mean, all the ones around here are mud falls, but where I was at, it was clear. The water looked fantastic. There was a big giant bug hatch going on out there. I don't know, these flies that were coming down were probably about a quarter inch long. They were pretty nice size, maybe a third of an inch, I don't know, somewhere in there. And anyways, when they were landing and fluttering on the surface, these big trout were coming up and nailing them. And all I could think about was just, geez, you know, if I could, if I just went ahead of fly rod. I was trying those little gold ones on there and a lot of the bigger ones would follow it out to it, but they wouldn't turn, they would commit. I tried the silver. They didn't follow it at all. I put the gold back on, I started nailing them again. The only problem is they were just the smaller ones. When there's a fly hatch going on, you'll notice one thing too. The little fish, they're eating the flies like crazy. And the big fish, they're eating the, the, the little, little trout. And the way to, to gauge that for sure is like that one of that last brook trouts that I caught, it had a big nudge on its tail, like something that just tried to hit it and eat it. So basically one of those bigger fish that's swimming around in that spot tried to eat that little brook trout for lunch. And you know, hey, it didn't work out for him, but that little brook trout had to be like that long. So if it was eating something that long, a big old rapala probably wouldn't be too much out of the question to catch a bigger trout right now this time of year, especially, you know, who knows. But anyways, it's getting kind of, you know, late. I got to get home. I got, my wife has to be somewhere at 5.30 and I don't know, I think it's about 5.30 right now. Anyways, I got to get going. Thanks for tuning in. There's going to be a head over here. There's going to be a playlist over here. Go check out the tips, tricks, and techniques, the places I fish and the driftless things that I do, places that I go. Fun times that I have. Oh, by the way, check it out. Where is it? Oh yeah, check out my great luck. All right, see that right there? I think the other part's in my pocket right here. I don't know, or is it in my other pocket? Who knows where it's at? Anyways, that little reel fell apart. So there would have been my days over with anyways. What am I gonna do? I'm just gonna have to get out of here, go home. I gotta go fix this. I got a new reel, you know, I got a new handle for my, for the pole that came with it. This is just the old one from last year, so. We'll take this guy off, put a new one on, it'll be all as good as new. All right, anyways, head playlist. Talk to you on the next episode. Woo-hoo, later.